Sabrina, you know, get your butt. That's actually dope. I mean, just the. Uh, and it was nobody in the background oh either. Gosh. Somebody. Else. No, I got, I got some dope. You guys have an audience. Even if it's just the Southfield Expressway. I used to live right here. I used to live right here. touched the wall in their lives. And so even the ones that were painters had never painted this scale before. And they never wrote on water before. So their signature is by the way is in the water. I'm Sabrina Nelson. Yeah. I was sort of like the no, no, no. director. No, <laughs> Sabrina Nelson is everything. And I, did, I, was like, I, I promise I was about to introduce you. Um, Sabrina Nelson, um, I brought her on board supposedly as my assistant, but Sabrina Nelson is the recruiter for the College of Creative Studies in Detroit, Woo -woo. and she helps our babies get into school and get full rides, and so some of these students that are actually interested in art have a direct contact to a really major college in the, in the school, so um, I'm the dream director, and Sabrina is a dream director, and all these students are dream directors, and uh, what we just show them is that anything is possible, but we could not have done any of this if not for our principal. So thank you, no. Principal Garcia, give it up. Because last year, I spent a year in another school trying to get a one mural done. And it literally took me a full year to get a yes. So the reason why I'm not at the other schools that I was at last year, and I chose Western, is because, really because, not just how much I love y'all, but because Principal Garcia loved his students in a way that I didn't see other principals love on them. And it really wasn't about him, it was about what was best for the school. So I'm just honored to be here. And some of the students are going to speak about the mural. 
process. I'm gonna have Mario start because Mario created the sketch that helped make this possible, and then we're gonna just go from there. All right. Um. Can we give it up for Mario? Give him some love. Thank you. Inspiration I had to like for the first sketch is from Western International, so like the international part of the schooling. So that's why I included like buildings from like all over the world and then like different people. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what else I see? And what about some of the symbols that you came up with? Um, the the Eiffel the Tower images? and the Taj Mahal. Can you talk about some of those buildings? Oh, I just. I honestly just searched up the seven world wonders. So, like, Taj Mahal, the Eiffel Tower, the uh, pyramids, and the pyramid from Mexico. Um, Not that the Joe Louis Fist is one of them, but the seven world wonders from Mexico. <laughs> we're with it. Right? It's in Detroit, so. Right. Yeah, to put it in. I know, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Did the name, uh, did the word within our school's name inspire you to pick? Some of these yeah. seven wonders, yeah, so yeah. the international, the fact that we're such a diverse yeah, school. group of kids. I had like, well, like, all around the world, yeah. Talk, talk about that. So, uh, I like, if you like look around the Western, it's like, it's like the most diverse school ever. So, we obviously had to include like all those, like, all people, like, different cultures, religions, and like everything, you know? Yeah. Thank you. Great. Elijah, are you going to tell us about somebody on the wall? Yeah. So I'm going to be talking about James Baldwin, and I actually wrote something. Nothing, okay. Not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. Words from American novelist, playwright, and poet, James Baldwin. James was born on August 2nd, 1924, and died on December 1st, 1987. Baldwin was well known for his essays on the black experiences in America. James was very open about his homosexual sexuality and relationships with both men and women. I hope students at Western look at the painting of James Baldwin every day and strive to tell their experiences in America, be open about their sexuality, but most importantly, to never give up on their race. Thank you. Alondra, yeah. hey, wrote something. <laughs> okay. Israel, you ready? Yes. Mr. Martinez? Mr. Martinez? Can you, can you guys go around? Oh, I think they're coming to the lab. Are you, are you coming to this? Oh, they're coming. They're coming to this? I thought they were going to the lab or something. Back up, back up. Come back, come back. You're late. So are you going to talk next to Asia? Asia, I'll talk about it. They can sit if they want. Yeah, they can go below. I think. Is Jerome docking? Yes, he is. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're so You ready? Is oh, Asia is going to do it. Um, well, I wrote about. Thank you for that projection. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wrote about Grace Lee Bogs. 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 Um, and then I wrote about it. Okay, she was born June 27, 1915. She was one of the nation's oh, she it, she was one of this this woman right here, right? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, I thought they seen the name. Maybe not these guys. Though. Um, she was one. She was one of the nation's oldest um, human civil rights activists. Her works span touched thousands of lives. For decades, she was a public face of a particular Detroit brand. She led, she led her black revolution, black power, neighborhood organizations, and education reform. Her, she nurtured generations. For, she nurtured generations of activists uh, who continued to play roles in the struggle to define, to, to define and shape the city. She made herself home. Sally Bob Bogues died. October 5th, uh, 2015. I think she was 100 years old. Yeah, she was 100 years old. And she was, she was Chinese-American. She married Jimmy Boggs, who was African-American, and they opened up a center to kind of help uh, Chinese and African-Americans with the civil rights industry. Absolutely. Okay, is, uh, is there any, can, can Ahalem, can you go? I would love for you to. 
Um, I want to talk about the Kaaba. Uh, it's located in Saudi Arabia, in Mecca, and it's like the holiest place to Muslim. And everybody like wishes to go there at least once in their life. Um, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? I mean, you can help them with the rest of them if you want. Okay, so, so does anybody else want to talk about any of the um, other folks that we put on the wall? Well, we're, we're free to fanatics. That's so. fine. Anybody? Diana, Diana, can you? I want to talk about Diana because Diana is the one that painted this beautiful lotus. She did the cowboy and she did those beautiful constellations, a lot of detail work. So, um, I want to talk about Frida Kahlo and I was not prepared for this, so I'll be doing it. It's okay. Wait. Okay. Um, she was a Mexican painter and she's one of a kind because, like, her content, her content. Is so deep, and there's no one like her. Right. She's mostly a self-portrait painter, and her roots to Detroit. Um, she had a baby. Well, she was pregnant, yeah. but <coughs> she lost the baby at Henry Ford Hospital. Yeah. So the spirit of the baby is there, and mm. she wanted the baby in um, what's it called? She took she made uh, paintings about this yeah, experience. She made paintings about this. Um, it's in the DIA, like in the big room. Mm -hmm. And she admired Diego Rivera. And Diego Rivera thought she was better than him. Mm -hmm. and she kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of is. She kind of agree. No, just because Diego is something else. <laughs> All right. It's a shopping. So will you talk about your um your cowboy? Oh, I painted the cowboy and the lotus over there. It's like tiny. Um, well, I just took the logo and I like stars. So I just put stars in the logo. So the mascot for the school is? Cowboys. The Cowboys, and you changed it because I don't think the Cowboy is holding the globe, but oh, yeah. you changed it because? Because it's Western International and it includes all these countries, and I thought it just looked cool. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. because I wanted the students to come up with who they wanted to see on the wall. And we kind of gave them um, a little bit of freedom to just say, okay, who do you want on your wall? Who represents you? Um, so I don't know how many of you have heard about Malayla. How many of you who have knows heard about, about Malayla? The, young, the young woman who was stoned in Afghanistan for fighting for uh, women to have, or girls to have the right to be educated. She was 14 years old and then she got shot, I think in the face. Um, ultimately, she survived. Um, to talk about it now, she's about 22 or 23 years old, and she yeah. goes around the world talking about the rights for education. So I think she was perfect to have in the middle of the wall right here. Um, also, we wanted to have a balance of male and female um, activists in the way that they charge the world to think about things that sometimes we take for granted. I think it's very um, poignant that she's on the wall here for Detroit Public Schools. I think. Every day you come to school, sometimes you're tired and you don't want to be here, but I want you to think about people in other countries that don't have the right to learn. And so um, I wanted her to, to be on the wall because she's young. She also is fighting for the right to be educated, where sometimes we take for granted that we have a school that's free to us. Yeah. Um, and sometimes other people abuse that, but you guys have the right to, to do with the education whatever you choose to do with it. Um, we have Malcolm X here. Most people know Malcolm X. What was really interesting when we uh, painted some of the people on the wall, some of the students didn't know who Malcolm X was, but some people didn't know who Cesar was either. So it was interesting when we started drawing. They were like, well, who is this and who is this? And then um, what was interesting, they didn't know who Diego Rivera was. And how many of you have been to the Detroit Institute of Arts? OK, so when you go into the big room, with the big auto plant painting, which is a mural fresco, that's done by Diego Rivera, who was married to Frida Kahlo. They lived in the city. 
for about two years while they painted that mural, so a lot of people don't realize that. She was very unhappy um, here in America. She really wanted to be in Mexico. And so, um, Mario, I think uh, you guys painted this doorway, the gateway. Can you tell us about oh, this? Yeah, Nobody talks about uh, this. If anyone knows where San Ignacio is, does anybody I, know? That's where I got it, because like, my, yeah. my background is from there. Yeah. And there's a lot of people from school from San Ignacio. So I just had to include it. And Christina painted all oh, of these wow. salt crystals. Yes. Can you tell us it's about the, the salt crystals and it's the, the tunnels? Best. I don't know how many of you know this, but can you just tell us really quickly why the salt crystals are there? Um, back then, when Detroit was first started, there was a salt mine <coughs> in Detroit. Right. So a lot of people call Detroit a very mystical place because we're built on top of these salt mines. Christina also did the job with this. Yes, so, she did. So, yeah. Can we give some love to Christina? She worked really hard. And she's very quiet. Very she's very loud with her painting. So, yeah, I just want to acknowledge her and how much she's, like, yeah. expressed herself um, with the big And, and um, the bird. Where's the bird from also? Right over the doorway. Uh, the bird's from Guatemala. It's like the national bird. Okay. Um, I had some people say stuff about the San Ignacio thing, so uh, I had to put their Guatemala bird, so leaving it up. So we wanted to be worldly. We didn't want to just be like, this is just what we want to put on here, but we wanted to be inclusive. So that's where that happened. And I don't know if you guys could step back just a little bit, because I want people to notice. We have the Ambassador Bridge here. We also have the Strait. Most people call it the Detroit River, but it's actually a strait. And so we have the students write on water, which I think is also very mystical when you think about it. But all of their signatures are in the water. And so um, this represents everybody who touched the wall. And if anybody did not um, sign it, we can make sure that your signature goes in there. Um, I enjoyed coming here in the evening when it was kind of quiet and kind of not at the same time. And people coming by going, I really like that myth. I thought you were finished, myth. And so it's really, really nice that some came by and they were like, can I paint? And I just handed them the brush. And they were not artists in that way, but all of us are artists. Yeah. The key to being an artist is remaining one once you become an adult. Because everybody can draw. If you can write your name, you can draw. It's really just drawing and curved lines. So whenever you have an opportunity to participate in a group mural like this, if you are not in an art class, that doesn't mean that you can't participate. But make sure that you get in with the group Ask Miss Jessica, can you join the Future Project group? Join the Dream Team. That's right. 1079. And then Alondra's going to read the words on the top. And after that, we're not going to. Uh, Yaelene is not here, but I want to speak about. Um, where is Yaelene? I haven't seen her. I haven't seen Yaelene, but Yaelene actually worked very hard on the statue. And, um, and Jose did too. And Jose, but it was Yaelene's first idea, I believe. Yes. And um, Jose, who, where is he? I don't know. He but came he, up with the water he, idea. He created our logo. With that's on ears. everybody's shirt, by the way. And he's there's a blue guy. This is probably the only person that's not a person that we made up is the blue person with the, the water, water coming out of his eyes. It's a water spirit. That's a water spirit. Um, that's what Jose created. And Yaelene, when I was out of town, tried to make me the Statue of Liberty, and I got an attitude about it and said, don't put my name on it. So <laughs> I think that's supposed to be me. Um, but what's really fresh about her putting me in the statue is that many years ago, I made history at the Apollo doing a poem called The Black Statue of Liberty. So she didn't know that, and it was just kind of mystical magical how she made that work, but whatever. That's like the Puerto Rican statue. Um, and um, Alonzo's going to read on the top. These beautiful words. This is called, they've named the mural the Unity Mural. I don't know, I guess we should have said that. And Alondra's gonna read it, and then who has scissors? And we're gonna like officially do the cutting. Can we get uh, Principal Garcia to maybe take a picture afterwards? That would be awesome. Yeah. Okay, so you do that. We are global students, we are beautiful humans. We come in many colors, we speak different languages. We embrace the cultures, we are international scholars. We can change agents, we are big, we are big dreamers. We are possible. We are Western International High School. Okay.